Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a Frugal Friday tip for you. I was talking to a student in my new class, 30 Days to Better Watercolor. It's on Launch Month Special for 50% off, and I will link that in the video description in case you want to check it out, um, about brush control and brush practices and stuff. And I said, you know, a great way to practice your brush strokes and to get used to new brushes is to find either an old grocery bag, just like a paper grocery bag, or some dark colored paper, and then you just get a container of water, and then you can practice your brush strokes on that. So if you're doing the leaf stroke, and you just want to kind of practice that, you can do that right here with some dark paper. You could use construction paper, cardstock. This is just some cardstock, some fairly thin cardstock that I really don't like very much, so I'm like, this is perfect. And then you can get used to the brush. You're actually using a brush on paper, so it's very similar to if you were painting on um, on watercolor paper, and then when it dries, it just disappears. Like you can start to see some of those first uh, marks just disappearing. If you have a new brush and you want to practice with it, but you don't want to waste your paper, it's a great way to do it. You could practice calligraphy or any other thing that you wanted to practice. I got this neat brush here. It's called the Reservoir Liner. Do you see how it's got really long uh, hairs in the middle? Then it's got a kind of a fat belly. I kind of wish I got a smaller size, but I was really curious about these and they're kind of expensive, so I only bought one. This is the Mimic one from Jerry's Artorama. Um, so you can get lots of long lines here. And then I could practice using this here and see what I thought before I tried to use it in a painting. Or I can also see how much it will carry before um, it runs out. Now, the first part of the line is start to dry before I'm even done this, because it does dry quickly, especially if you're not using a lot of water. So I just think this is a really nice way to be able to practice our brush strokes without getting worried that we are going to um, they're going to waste our supplies. I mean, look at that. It's already starting to dry. This is the same idea as the product called a Buddha board. If you've ever seen those, they are, um, I think they're, there's also a brand called Dream Board. And maybe your kids had an Aqua Doodle when they were little. Um, it's basically the same idea, except this costs you a couple pennies, or if you have an old brown grocery bag, it's free. You could even try uh, using cardboard, anything that's not white. You want something that's got some color to it so that when you put the water on there, it's going to um, it's going to seep in there and show you that kind of watermark darker design. So I hope you found this tip useful. And if you would like to learn more from me and check out my new class, 30 Days to Better Watercolor, I will link it in the video description. It's 50% off through the end of the month. And uh, there you have it. And I'll show you real quick. I'll just kind of well, you can kind of see those first strokes are already disappearing. But when you dry it the uh, the marks go away and then you can do it all over again. And then what I would recommend is just keeping your piece of cardstock or paper or whatever, just tuck it under your, if you have a mat on your desk like I do, you can stick it under the mat, you can stick it in your watercolor pad. Um, if you are going to keep something in your watercolor pad, I would recommend using something like this, which is just uh, like acid-free cardstock from like a scrapbooking um, section of a craft store if you don't have any. The nice thing about that is it's acid free so you don't have to worry about it transferring any acid. I wouldn't keep a brown paper bag in my watercolor pad or my sketchbook just because um, like brown paper paper bag is uh, acidic and that could transfer some acid to your paper and make it yellow over time. So if you do want to store it in your in your um, your sketchbook or your watercolor pad or like in a stack of watercolor papers then just make sure you get cardstock that's got um, uh, this acid free and I, I think this works better the darker the color you have so this is like navy blue that works really well obviously you don't want it black because you want it to if, if it, it's not going to show up that much you want some contrast so I would say mid to dark tone but not so dark that it's gonna you know be black black but uh, but there you have it I hope you found this useful please give me a thumbs up if you did and thank you so much for watching if you have any frugal tips you'd like to share you can share them in the comments below we'd all love to hear what you have to say and until next time, happy crafting. Bye.